Okay, meteorologists and scientists, are you ready to make your own wind sock? I wanna tell you the supplies you need and we can always substitute because that's what I'm doing. So you need paper. I have a piece of green colored paper. I just found it in my classroom. You can use white paper, doesn't matter. I have a piece of green construction paper. But again, you can just use a piece of white paper. That's fine too. Crayons or markers. A hole puncher. Did the seltzer up? Oh, here's a hole punch. You might not have that. I have one. But if you don't have that, you can use scissors and ask your ask your grown-ups to use the hole punch and or to make holes with a scissor. Um, string or ribbon if you have ribbon or even dental floss that will work you can use dental floss um let's see tissue paper this on here is tissue paper you might have that from a present or i have something called crepe paper you can even use tissues or a paper towel i can always think of other things to use if you don't have the supplies then you need glue or tape Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to hold my paper like this, and I'm going to fold it over because I'm going to make this shorter. It's just, it's too, I want it a little skinnier rather. So I'm holding it hamburger and I fold it a little bit over. You don't have to do that if you want you can even just cut your paper, okay? So I folded my paper just so that I can punch holes and it's a little thicker. You don't have to do that. Now, what I wanna do, I did not decorate my windsock. I didn't decorate it. I didn't draw anything on it. And that's not that exciting. So you can color on your windsock. You can draw with crayons, you can draw with marker, you can draw anything you want. I'm just gonna draw a few hearts. I like to draw hearts. I'm gonna use a few different colors. Let's see, I'm missing. I'm missing my favorite heart color, which would be red. Do I have a red in here? I do not. Oh well, I also have crayons but I'm gonna draw just a few hearts. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time decorating, but you absolutely can. Hmm. I also have crayons, so I'm going to draw some more hearts with crayons. My bag of crayons. You can draw anything you want. You might not want to decorate it, and that's fine. It's your windsock, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I just drew a few hearts on here. Maybe you'll make yours fancier. Now, this is when you need to ask a grown up to punch holes. You need four holes, but they can also do it with a scissor. So watch me. One, and I'm spacing them apart. Two, three, and four. So I punched four holes. And again, your grown-ups can use a scissor to make holes. Notice I didn't do it at the very tippy top because then it would just, the string would just come right through it. So we don't want to do that. Okay, so I have my holes. Now I'm going to cut some Let's see, how many did I put on here? I did one, two, three, four, five. I have five pieces of tissue paper. And I'm gonna use my crepe paper. I'm gonna make this a little bit different than that one. I'm gonna use crepe paper. But again, like I said, you can use tissue paper. You can use tissues. So, about five inches long, it doesn't have to be this long, can even be longer. So that's one, two, 
and I'm not measuring, so they're not all the same length. Three, four, and five. So I have five. Now, I turned this inside out, not where my decorations are. I'm gonna glue these onto the bottom or tape them. You can tape or glue. I have some glue in a cup. I'm gonna glue these, but you can tape them. Doesn't matter. That's why I love this because not everybody's is gonna be the same and that's fine. That's what's so cool about art and science. We're doing science. Okay, and I'm just putting my finger in the glue and I'm putting these on here. Not, I don't want them right, right next to each other. And I'll show you in just a second. Putting my third one on. I might not have room. Nope, I'm only gonna put four and that's okay. I didn't leave enough room. And the crepe paper is fatter or wider actually, wider this way than my tissue paper. And that's okay. And again, maybe you're gonna use paper towel, a piece of paper towel or a tissue. That's fine. You want something lighter than this paper to be hanging down here. You want something lighter, okay? So again, you can use paper towel, you can even use tissue. This is crepe paper and this is tissue paper, okay? Now, I am going to, now I'm gonna use these holes, okay? And I'm gonna use my string and like I said, you can use if you have thin ribbon or dental floss, doesn't matter. I'm gonna cut my pieces of string. Let's see, that's about seven or eight inches. One, and I can cut them the same length and hold them together and then I know they're around the same length. My scissor does not wanna cut this. Oh, got it. That's two, let's see. Three, and here is my fourth piece. Now, and again, you might need grown-ups help or if you have um, an older brother or sister or a friend. So now I'm gonna put my string through the hole, okay, ready? And then I'm gonna tie it in a little knot or just tie it one time. That's one. Oh, I think I'm gonna need to tie this in a knot. But again, you can tape it down too. But I'm gonna knot mine, so it's one. Let's see, here is two, doing the same thing. I'm putting it through the hole. Two. knotting it or taping it, doesn't matter. Take your time. I had never made one of these before and until I made that one the other day to show as my sample. So they're all gonna look different. And that's, like I said, that's kind of the cool thing. It's yours and it can look the way it looks. There's no mistakes in art at least in my opinion. I think everybody has their own style. Okay, let's see, where is my fourth piece? Here it is, okay. So now I have my string and maybe you're gonna do yours a little bit differently. Maybe you have a better idea. Maybe you have a different idea and that's cool too. Okay, let's see. Can we get this last one tied, Miss Seltzer? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. So now I have my four pieces of string and you might be wondering why, but you'll see. Now I'm gonna fold this around and now you can see the shape. That looks kind of like this one. There's the shape. And I'm just gonna tape it, I think. Or you could even staple it. Maybe I'll staple it. Just 
because my stapler's here, but I do have tape also. I'm gonna staple the bottom and I'm gonna staple the top and that way it'll stay together. And I taped this one. So I'm doing it differently this time too. I think I'll put a piece of tape on it though. Anyway, I'm gonna staple the middle, I mean tape the middle part. Okay, now you're wondering, why did I spend all that time putting string in and tying knots? Well, we're gonna knot them all together up top. And then that way you can hang it or you can take it outside actually and hang it or just hold it and watch it blow in the wind. So I kind of made a little loop by accident, but I'm kind of glad I did that. And here is my wind sock. So here are two different samples and I'm gonna take this outside. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna take mine outside and I'm gonna see which way the wind is blowing. And these are going to move. I just wanna tell you a couple of other things you can do. You could even turn this into wind chimes. You could use your string pieces and maybe tie something that makes noise on them or glue something that makes noise so that when the wind blows, they move together like a wind chime. But I'm gonna use mine now for a wind sock. So, I hope you had fun making your wind sock. Take your time, ask for help, and take it outside. Watch it move, watch the wind, watch the direction that the wind is moving in. Okay, meteorologists, now you have a tool for weather.